Right, so you guys probably all know about Karens and their severely underfunded war on masks and the absolute astronomical rise in popularity of them freaking out over having to wear a mask in a pandemic. I know, it's absolutely crazy that the math which goes with having to wear a mask in a pandemic doesn't add up to these guys. You know the things doctors wear for like 12 hours a day out here saving lives, but then these absolute little goblins wear them for about 30 seconds and start crying. It's pretty pathetic. So let's talk about this Karen, who seems to have an issue with these construction workers and believes that they could be illegal aliens, and that simply because they are speaking a different language while doing construction work, that apparently means that she is now living in a communist state. Let's watch matter it's still english it's english 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 is anybody here illegal are these guys illegal any what's the name of this company look at this look at this it's america speak english you know i just absolutely love her plan here i love that she just says is anyone here illegal anyone here dangerous and want their lives ruined today i can call ice just let me know as if one of them is gonna pipe up and just go hola these are probably just normal people doing a normal job and despite them speaking a different language they're getting the job done i don't know why you need to go out of your way to get a camera out and record your interaction like anyone cares speak english so he's this is a foreman working for this company morins and he's speaking, he's speaking Spanish to these guys. So your tax doll is up here in New Hampshire. That's what's going on here. That's what's going on here. That is what's going on. So now they're, they're, they have people who don't speak English, who are putting in this stuff that taxpayers are paying for. And look what they're doing. This is communism. This is communism. Look at this. They're taking over these streets. This, what they're doing up here in Nashua is permanent, permanent. So here's a private company, wake up. No residents, I wanna know where's Governor Sununu? Where's Governor Sununu? What's, what's your problem? Are they in America? Yes. Okay, they should be speaking English. Why? He said, what they what? should be speaking English. Because what? They should be speaking English. Are they illegal aliens? They don't speak the language? What does speaking the language have to do with Do that? they not speak the language? When you drive into the state, what does it say? Do it they says, not speak the language? Are they illegal aliens? And Governor Sununu, I'm sorry guys, am I watching a goddamn Star Wars clip which got deleted? Sounds like we're in Tatooine right here. Listen lady, I know it's hard to understand that honest people are out here making an honest living, but I don't think they need you yipping in the background. And look at how goddamn tiny you are in the reflection of the glass. I hope you show your face. No idea. Okay, why do you care? Because I, who I wasn't talking to you. You're harassing me. I have a right. To harass people? Um, how am I how am I harassing them? You're yelling at them while Am I yelling? Yes. Oh yeah, okay. I can hear you are they illegal? The street, so I'm trying to enjoy my lunch. So, so then go go enjoy your lunch. You're why are you wearing a mask? Why am I wearing a mask? Yeah. I don't know if there's a global pandemic. Really? Going. Okay. Okay. So this guy decided that he's gonna come over here and be a social I justice warrior. Right. I know, really. Because that was six feet away outside. Oh, it's over from the other side. Because he's, he's a black man, and he's going to protect the brown man from this white woman who's practicing um, white privilege because she happened to walk by and heard this guy talking to all of these guys doing this work in Spanish. So I'm going into the studio. Doing some research, I couldn't find any information on this Karen and how her possible job aspects were affected by this video, but with that said, I rank her an 8 out of 10 Karen. I mean, watching that clip there, it's just so pathetic that not only do these people need to make other people's lives harder, they feel the need to record it and post it online, as if anyone's gonna be sat there like, Good job, you told them. Hey, what's going on guys? Sorry to interrupt here. YouTube really did not like this clip being in my video, but I thought you guys want to see this Karen. So I had to kind of heavily censor some of the things she was saying. But regardless of that, I hope you guys enjoy. So we're gonna look at this Karen today. It's your standard Karen in 2020. She's complaining about wearing masks in an establishment which will most likely have a sign up saying, please wear a mask. But she's probably programmed not to read it because she probably thinks the sign is made in China, thus giving her the excuse she doesn't know Chinese. It really doesn't. So let's watch this video of a Karen in action. They don't control us, we're Americans. <laughs> Worse than Obama, Peace, love, harmony, Trump 2020, baby. 
No. Did you just call me? No. I got you, man. I got you. I got you. No. I got you. No. 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 Whoa, 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 Karen. You can't come in here wearing the Jerusalem 3000 flip-flops and start spouting that rubbish. Completely unacceptable while repping such high-valued flip-flops. Why do Karens honestly think insulting someone by which political party they might support is in any way a good comeback? It really isn't. That's like me saying to someone, you probably eat pineapple on pizza as a possible comeback to someone who gives me any sort of hate. It's just so stupid. Then like in most Karen videos, the husband comes in. This one is cosplaying Jonah from David Dobrik Vlogs and he spouts some rubbish, which I honestly can't understand. Most of the times the husbands just stand there in disbelief that he ever porked this lady and is contemplating driving off a dirt road on his way home. I mean, it's also obvious that in most food establishments, they won't serve you if you're not wearing a shirt or shoes due to hygiene reasons. And just for the fact, it's incredibly trashy if you walk around like that in an area of food. And so, and I guess in somewhat, they do understand that, hence why I guess the Karen was sent in and he waits in the car, but apparently those basic rules aren't the same as wearing a mask. Pathetic, honestly. And such a waste to have the Jerusalem 3000 on a pair like that. So yeah, that's the first episode of To Catch a Karen. Horrible little things, they make everything so much harder. If you guys have any Karen clips you want me to look at, send them to me on Twitter, Instagram, or Discord. The links are down below. Stay safe out there, guys. The Karens are watching. Oh, and one last thing, a little word from our sponsors for today's video. Hola.